Alrighty, how's it going everybody? Zero, one of one, back again. And, uh, yeah, so we've got more tomatoes already, that's good. Um, I did an oopsie, and uh, all of my plants in there died. Uh, what happened is the temperature got too hot, and it basically just killed everything. Um, so, yeah, kind of lost out on a crop of stuff. Waste tank, caution. My waste tank is being dumb again. So, uh, the reason why... Um, it's because I didn't have one of these things set up in here, <laughs> so, yeah, so now it's just, it's, uh, 53 in here, but it was 78 earlier, so, yeah, it's, it's no surprise that all of my plants died, um, luckily I have seeds, so it's okay, uh, just, you know, another thing that I had to do, and then I also expanded my, uh, thing down here, uh, this is kind of like my little cold thing, um, I need to replace these with insulated pipes, that way these aren't heating up the inside, because this is like all the, the waste heat coming out. Um, but yeah, so we are slowly, emphasis on slowly, uh, cooling down. So I think that's okay, and we were at 99 uh, kilopascals um, at one point. And uh, yeah, now that it's cooled down a bit, we're down to 94, but... I don't want to be emptying this inside of here anymore because I think we're kind of at the limit for pressure before we start actually damaging stuff. Um, so I need to put up um, sort of like an overpressure system uh, control thing. So it's going to have passive vent up here along with a back pressure regulator and then have that set at like 95 kPa or something like that. And then if it ever reaches that, then it'll take whatever is over that and then vent it out into a pipeline which I want to run back into there so I can put it into um, into the gas tanks so it's the idea anyways and then once I get that done I have to run more pipes over here so I can get like some uh, air mixing going on in here so I can get like the proper ratio of air in here for plants and stuff so it's a lot more to do um, but I believe that we're still good in here yeah, so it's just nitrogen, oxygen, and CO2 in here, so perfectly breathable, just a little warm at the moment. Um, but yeah, so there's that. Uh, let's see, what else did I do? Let this thing get down to a complete vacuum. Oh, I need to make myself another filter. That's something I have to do. Uh, okay, and then we'll hop over here. So over here, we're still good. Um, we're at 33 degrees in here now, really. Okay. Um, I don't know. Was it 25 earlier? So, I mean, it's it's working. Um, I actually ran out of water a little bit ago, so I had to go and get more water. Uh, that was before the last episode, though. Um, and then we're at 58 kPa in here, so I could potentially just empty that into here. That brings us up to 62-ish. Eh, of course, it'll, it still has to equalize, so it's probably going to be around, I don't know, like 50 eight ish um but yeah so that's that and then i still have this thing set up so i could uh do the back pressure whatever thing going into here as well um yeah it's just or i could run it up here i probably run it up there i think and then kind of combine it with the one from over there and then run it everything over into there i still haven't messed with those yet um still working on it not quite there yet but uh what i did manage to get done and what actually works uh, pretty much exactly as intended um, is the sorting system. So uh, let's let's uh, give this a little little look here. Okay, so in the last episode, you remember me setting up these three walls, right? So this is our timing circuit along with the four things that we need for time, right? So we've got our counter, we've got our incrementer, we've got our reset value, and then we've got our max value, right? And then uh, I said I wanted to check, um, I wanted to do something at five seconds and 10 seconds through the timer, so basically every five seconds. So I've got my five and my 10 set there, and that goes into these compare units, right? So these compare units are then gonna compare our counter, or I think it's pulling off the math unit. What is it pulling off of? Yeah, it's pulling off of the math unit, which is basically where the counting is going on anyways. So it's pulling off of that, comparing it, and then if it is um, like, just then you saw it go to one. So that's a, 
every 10 seconds on this one, every 10 seconds on that one, but offset by five seconds each. And then they just go into these, which is really, really simple. These are just two batch writers. Um, this was kind of like the last thing I needed to do in the last episode, but I just, I was already like an hour and 18 minutes. So, uh, no. Uh, so this run right here is going to be writing to all of our digital valves. And then this one is going to be writing to all of our splitters. So if we take a look over here, you see that just flipped. And then that just flipped. Now, if we watch them both at the same time, um, about five seconds, and then that one goes. And then about five seconds, that one goes, and it just keeps going back and forth. Now I've got our uh, digital valve set to one. So as soon as one item comes in here, it's gonna close, right? So this is kind of like our, our stop. And then whatever was in here will shoot through here, going, to, going into here, but because this is off when this opens, it's gonna get stuck in here as well. And then uh, the extra five seconds between this thing going on and this thing opening uh, is enough time for this thing to update. So then if it is sorted properly, uh, it'll go into there. And then if it is not, it will not. So, and then uh, I clean this up a little bit more. So this is all you need right here. I mean, granted you need all of this too, but this is just kind of like the timing circuit. Um, this is what you need for each uh, ore piece or each type of ore that you want to sort. So you need this guy right here, which is going to hold the on state off, right? So it's going to keep this thing off. So that's what we want there. And then we're going to read the slot of this guy, right? So that is reading off of the splitter for the coal. It is checking the transport slot and is looking for the occupant hash. Now the occupant hash for coal happens to be 172.4793494. So we store that in memory up here. And then we want to compare what we're reading off of this to what we've got up there. And if they match, we want to do something. So if this comes out and it says, hey, we've got coal in there, then I want this thing to write a one into our mode. Now our mode will switch it from the arrow going all the way through to the arrow going that way, right? So mode zero is this way, mode one is that way. So we're using the fact that this will output a one to set a one in here as well. So that's what this does. And this is checking our, uh, sorry, it's checking our compare for coal, which is this guy right here, right? So it's checking that and it's gonna output to the splitter for coal, which is this guy. And it's gonna output the mode, right? So if this does not detect something in there, this is gonna push out a zero, this is gonna push out a zero, but this thing's already gonna be at zero. So we don't really have to worry about anything. And then also another important thing, uh, the splitter ratio here, you have to make sure that's set to zero to one. Um, if it's set one to one, it'll keep flopping between the two. So we don't want it to do that. So you set it to zero and then it'll be stuck on either that one or that one. So that's what is going on there. And then uh, once you have that, uh, this will go out into there. This will stack it up to 50. And then once you got a full stack of 50 coal, it'll shoot it up into there and get stored into the silo, which can then hold three, or sorry, 600 stacks of 50, which will be around 3000 coal. So it's a lot, but um, you don't have to learn a programming language in order to use this. So, uh, and also hopefully it works. Uh, the other addition that I made over here is this guy. So I put the recycler back in and then this is going to output and kind of curl around here and it's going to go directly into there. And then so our silo will store our dirty ore along with whatever mixed ore we have in here. Now, speaking of that, I want to put this in there and see if it'll take it. So this is kind of like my mix of just stuff. So I'll throw that in there and it does take it good. And then we'll go through there, spit it all out and then output and then whatever's left over is what's whatever is left over. And then this goes in there, gets stored into the silo, which then will get uh, run into our centrifuges through here. And then that will separate all of the stuff out. And then we end up with, uh, yeah, with individual ores. So a lot of work, um, but it seems to be working so far. And then also another interesting thing about this is the spacing actually works out perfectly. 
Um, so you see how this is kind of like right in the middle of the block along with the silo, right? And then this one is directly on the line, which means that the next one of these will be again in the middle of the block for the next silo. So uh, spacing works out very well. I can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different ores in here. And then I'll have to have like a, I don't know, like a drop off for stuff that doesn't get sorted, um, which will be fine. So it shouldn't get stuck as long as you've got your hashes set up here for the correct stuff. Um, but yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> um, okay. So what I need to do now, build myself another silo, build myself another stacker, uh, get myself some more powered shoots, some more regular shoots. I think I have enough regular shoots at least to do a couple of these and maybe even a few of these. But I do need to make some more silos and some more stackers. So that is what I will be doing now. So silo, and we need to make like seven of these things. Um, also, what do we have for ores? Okay, so we have lead, silver, gold, nickel, iron, silicon, and coal. Now that right there is, that's seven already, right? So we got silicon, yeah, that should be all of the important things. And then the other ones that we may get is the uranium and the cobalt, which I don't really have any use for, so I'm okay with just dropping those off into something like that, right? So, you know, they'll just kind of drop in there and fill that thing up uh, as they come out, I guess. And then eventually, uh, I'll get to the point to where I can actually sort them as well, but that is not today. Um, and then where I could put those is probably like right over here, maybe. Have another couple silos. I don't know how that would work for spacing with this, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, so, uh, and then also everything is cycling this way. So what I need to do is make like another kind of loop that goes up and over and kind of runs back and then down and then back in. Um, because otherwise we have to sh get these things to go all the way over here somewhere. Or what I could do is flip these around so that way they go in the other direction. Um, and then I can drop off the stuff here and then kind of work on it that way. I mean, that wouldn't be hard to do, to be completely honest. So maybe I just do that, I suppose. So yeah, let's, let's just, just bite the bullet and get it done. That's going to break stuff. Sorry. Uh, so we want the left one and then we want that to go that way. Make sure, oh, that's the valve, dang it. That's not what I needed, sir. There we go, flip flop, left, there we go. Oh no! We know, that does work, right? Yeah. Yeah, I thought that, oh, okay, that was close. I thought that it wasn't gonna line up with the silos. Okay, so we set that to zero, right? And then what we have to do is we have to change what this is all reading off of. Um, and I have to name this to splitter coal. Uh, splitter coal. Confirm. That should hopefully fix these. Or not. Oh, I probably have to just reset them all. Okay, I told you I was going to break stuff, but that's fine. Um, okay, so I want you to look at splitter for coal. Did I just pass it? No, that's logic writer for coal. Uh, splitter coal, okay. Then we're going to have that be set to on. Um, make sure that didn't get reset. Okay, good. Okay, and that will be keeping it off. All right, and then this guy has to cycle to splitter coal, checking the transport slot and the occupant hash. It's going to compare up there, so this is all fine and dandy. And then this thing, logic compare coal. Okay, so now I have to reset the outs. Uh, 
uh, splitter for coal, and that is going to go to the mode. Okay. So that should be fixed again. Um, this is got to change as well, because now the output type is going to be splitter. Sorry. That's a digital valve I need. There we go, that, okay. And then that, do I have to set that as well? I do, okay. And then this is gonna write to the on, okay. Now, if this works, okay, flips on, flips off, okay, good. Now I have to flip this guy around, so that's gonna probably break more stuff. That's fine though, okay. So this guy has to go and become a digital valve left. Okay. And then we will close that, turn that on. And then the threshold value is going to be one. Okay. There we go. And then that's going to break this guy. So then we have to change this. Um, Uh, well, that was the splitter. No, I don't need the splitter. I need, wait, what was that? Splitter again. Uh, do Digital valve left. There we go. And we're out putting the open. Okay. So now, hopefully, if this works, that should go up and then go back down. And then that should turn on a couple seconds later. Wonderful. All right. So now we've got everything switched around going the right way. Um, so now I suppose all we gotta do is just start turning stuff on. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to do though is I wanted to put all of this, so my miners, my centrifuges, all that other stuff, I wanna put it on its own circuit, its own isolated, not connected to anything in their circuit. And the reason for that, oh, also I can take this wreckage and throw that into there. Um, so what I can do is I can split off like a couple of coals every once in a while and throw that into uh, one of those guys. Um, what are they called again? I'm, my brain is like gone right now. It's fine though. You are generator, right? Solid fuel generator. So power low and thirst at the same time. Imagine that. All right, let me get something to drink. go so there's our water might as well get some more food all right good to go uh, let's replace our air so that way that doesn't go crazy all right now I can make more tomato stuff if I want but I think I'm actually I've got like four things of food right now so I think we're actually pretty good on that um, okay close the helmet and head back outside Alright, so, oh, and then also, uh, with the way that the wiring works here, um, you'll see that on this side there's nothing, and then on this side there's the, the compare unit which needs, you know, power. So what you do is for the next one, you basically just mirror this to the other side, so you'd have the compare over here, the logic writer, um, what is that, the switch, and then the reader right here, and then you put the memory up there again. So, um, kind of, you know, just how it's doing its thing. And then also, I could probably uh, change this a little bit. Um, okay, so we're at five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so this is going to be our max. We're going to. Oh, crap. Didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Nine, ten. Okay, good. Uh, increase? No, we want to decrease. There we go. I'm going to set that to 8, and then I'm going to set this to 4, or sorry, this one is going to be set to 8, and then this one is going to be set to 4. So basically we're cutting a second, well, two seconds technically, off of either side, and then that should make these things go a little bit faster. 
hopefully. Yeah, it's a little bit faster. And then uh, depending on like how long it takes, like the coal when it goes in there to actually update this, I could probably bring it down to six. And that would probably be about the fastest that I can do. But um, so, I mean, this is, this is not gonna be a, a fast sorting process um, by any means. Uh, it's gonna be very slow, but the bonus to that is that the centrifuges are slower. So regardless of how fast or whatever these things are doing their thing, um, we should still be okay. Okay, so next thing, um, silo, right, this thing, copper, gold, steel, okay. Do, 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 do. So here's some gold, there's some steel, and the copper is over here. I had to go and get more, uh, I ran out. So, oops, get rid of the gold too, or it's just copper in there, okay, that's fine. Yeah, so I found 180 copper, I think. So yeah, we need more gold, what? And we have a little bit more, five more. Is that enough for like a single silo? Yikes. All right, so we'll just uh, get that smelted real quick. I mean, not real quick, gold is notoriously slow, but that's fine. Um, right, so there's a lot going on, um, but um. I think I think we're actually doing fairly well. So, all right, uh, I'm gonna have to copy these, um, but I want to get this thing going first, so I can at least do you know iron and you know that, and then I'm gonna need like an input, I think, like where I can just like throw stuff in there and have it be sorted. Um, not sure exactly how I want that to work, but we'll we'll figure something out. Um, yeah, how you doing? You good? All right. Do we have enough? We have enough. Okay, that's gonna take a while. Uh, okay, so you can turn off. Um, we may need to get more gold. Actually, what do I have in here? I think I smelted all the gold already, yeah. So we got a little bit of that. Uh, we did find some more oxides, which I can just throw in there. Um, and then all of this, I can just kinda toss in there. And then we've got our stacks of 50 iron here. And you can tell I made a bunch of steel recently. At least I hope you can tell I made a bunch of steel recently. So um, I can make more steel if I need it. So that's good. Um, okay, so next thing. I need to go into here because I recently used the furnace. And I need to start venting, not venting, but collecting all of the gases that are in there. So let's go and do that. All right, how we doing? We want to check. I opened up the the valve here to give it a little bit more space, and apparently there's nothing in here. What? Why is there nothing in here? Oh, right, because it keeps everything in here because of the valves. Okay. Um. Okay. So we still have 8.32 megapascals in here. So we can increase that. That should start dumping that into here. Oh, what just happened? Oh, we just burst a pipe. Burst a water pipe, apparently, due to an overpressure event, and we have mist in here. That's cool. Um, actually, let me just turn that back off. Uh, water, why is there liquid in here? There shouldn't be any kind of liquid in here. I mean, can I look at it through here? Yeah, there's no liquid in there. So what? Very confused right now. I suppose whatever liquid was in there is now burst. So there is that. All right, so let's repair that pipe. And then uh, we also did some damage to our little window here. So that's, that's fun. Um, okay, but Take that pipe off, throw a new pipe on there. Do we want to put a new pipe on there? Probably not. See what happens, I suppose. 
Um, do I need, like, does that need to go somewhere? Because, like, I have no place for it to go. I'd have to, like, pipe it way the heck over here, where I actually have liquid. But I don't think I have enough pipe for that. But what I can do, I suppose, is at least get this kind of moving away from here to give it a little bit more space, I suppose. Uh, yeah, we'll go right to here. No, that way. Oh, that can't cross through there. That's dumb. It's fine. It's fine. We can still make this work. Okay. So we're going to take this off and we're going to make this go up. Oh, I can't make it go up because it's got that pipe right there. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't like that. Okay. Okay, can I go this way? Um, I mean, yeah, but I'd prefer to go through here if I can, so I could run it maybe along the side of the wall there or something. Uh, but then I'd have to get around this pipe first. So let me do this a little differently here. So we'll run this way, and then we'll run this way, and then we'll run up. And then we'll throw in a straight, and another curved. And this one can go that way. I think I wanted to drop down before I hit that part. So take off this one, and then we'll throw on that one. There we go. And now we can run this straight out. And that can cross over a wire, whereas the other cannot. So then I'm gonna need like 50 million more pipes to get it all the way over there. But hopefully this won't burst any pipes. No, good, okay. Well, I suppose there's no more liquid in there, right? So yeah, so there's nothing in there. We have 5% pollutants in here, so that's not great, but it's fine. All right, so uh, the other thing that I want to do here is um, throw in a vent so I can, like, you know, cycle all the crap out of the air that I don't want. Oh, wow, that is really, really high. Um, okay. Pressure is very high. It's, like, worryingly high. Yeah, we're, we're over 25 megapascals right now. So it should technically be venting right now, and it is. Okay, but why is... I don't understand that. Waste tank caution. Okay, so that should drop that down. Way down. Okay, good to go. And the temperature is okay to check as well. Okay, so we've got nitrogen. We've got volatiles. Uh, what else do we have in here? Uh, CO2 and O2. Okay, there's our CO2, there's our O2. Okay, so that should take, start taking out all of that stuff. Now I need to get out of here before I start damaging myself. Okay. And then I'm just going to... Vent, I guess. I don't really have a way to do anything with that yet, so. Um, eventually, what's going to happen when I can get that thing figured out properly, um, you know, that whole room in there, is I'll have like a canister, whatever thing, that I can just dump all my excess stuff into there, but then I also have to have the excess pressures from this hab and uh, this hab, or the greenhouse, I should say. 
Uh, all of that needs to go into there too, so I can store those gases when they get, you know, to be a little bit too much. Ah, okay, what else we got? Um, battery, just because. All right. So I'm going to let that run in the gas room for a little bit. And then I'll show you what I got going on in here. So I did finish this up. So here we go. So I've got all insulated pipes going through here. Um, I did do a little bit of research on this and this is the hot end, meaning you have to have hot in and hot out. Now granted, this is the hot input and then this is slightly cooler hot output. Um, so, and then this end over here is the cool end and this is why your room uh, needs to be very, very, very cold, which mine currently is not. So it's 55 in here. I think it's roughly about the same in there, which is why these things are not going very fast. Um, but yeah, so it's not, it's not amazing, but you know, it's, it's functioning sort of, sort of. Um, I should probably put like more radiators in here. And then I could replace uh, what I've got out there with the expandable radiator and then maybe see if that kind of helps a little bit with uh, radiating some of the heat out of here. Because what you need is you need, so these are gonna heat up the room, right? So that's basically what they do is they'll take a little bit of heat over here and they, they use the difference between the hot and the cold to create motion and then that motion gets transferred into electrical gen generation. But what ends up happening is um, your gases are gonna be mixing, right? So your hot and your cold gases are gonna be kind of mixing in here and that's kind of what the, uh, the gas canisters are there for, right? So that's your mixing gas. But in doing so, it's gonna take a little bit of the hot air over here, it's gonna put a little bit over here into the cool end and then that's gonna off gas into here which is what heats up the room. So uh, you need to keep this room extremely cold which mine currently is not. Um, but that is because I read a comment and uh, without researching it first and they said that the hot has to go into there and the cold has to go into here. Yeah, and so that's why this room is hot. Extremely so. Looks like it's going, going a little fast. I don't know. That one's going... I don't know if they're all going the same speed. I don't know. But yeah, so uh, what I'm kind of doing here is I'm keeping the the hot in and the hot out basically at the same temperature because they're all going into here. And they're absorbing the heat from inside the room over here and then transmitting it into here, which is then using this to heat, to feed the hot side. And then the cold um, is just the room itself, right? That's the only thing that that is. Uh, so I'm gonna need like 10, no, more than 10. Uh, like 16 more radiators so I can like completely just pad this entire thing. Well, I can't do that many. Um, like 10 more, we'll fill that up. And then uh, with my radiators on the outside, and maybe build those up or something, or make them bigger, I don't know. Those guys, um, they are basically radiating the heat outwards um, which is supposed to be cooling down the stuff in the pipes, but it's obviously not cooling it enough because these things are uh, keeping it hot in there, which then drives down the efficiency. So it's it's just a thing that we got to do. So it's just kind of kind of how it is. All right, uh, how are we doing over here with our silo? Okay, so that was the one that we could make. Good. And then this guy is gonna go here, right? Yeah. So there's that. And then this needs um, steel plates and plastic and wire, I believe. So there's our steel sheets. Um, and I think I need this guy. Yeah, there we go. And then you need, yeah, so it takes like 10 sheets, 10 steel sheets, and I think it also takes 10 plastic sheets. So I might not have enough actually. Yeah, no, you need 10 plastic sheets too. Okay, so yeah, I mean, these these things are not cheap to make. 
but what I can do is make more. There we go. And throw in the silicon. There you go. Silicon plastic. Because I'm sure that's a thing. I mean, honestly, it probably is. Like, you can make plastics out of nearly anything. Um, and plastic just is a reference to its ability to be shaped, I guess. So the oil-based plastics that we're used to, I mean, those are, they're not the only kind of plastic that's out there. Um, I've seen some people make plastics out of mushrooms. Um, so that's, that's kind of cool, actually. So you could, you know, sustainably grow plastics through mushrooms. So it's kind of cool, right? Uh, I don't know. I like to keep up on all that kind of crazy stuff. But uh, now we need some wire, and that should be good to go. And then this guy is going to need to be powered, which I can then run through here, but I think I'm going to need more cable. Oh, no. Okay. And then that'll also serve to get the data ports up and running as well. Not that I really need them, but, you know, it's cool to have it work every once in a while. Uh, okay, so... SDB silo, we're going to call this a coal. No, sorry. Silo coal. Confirm. And this one is going to be silo iron. Confirm. All right. And then I should probably get these things starting running too. So that way I have some ores coming in at least. Um, so yeah, we'll get that started, we'll get that started, and we'll get that started. This is going to drain my power like crazy, but that's fine. Alright, so that is going to start doing that, and then that's going to start draining these guys pretty badly. But that's why I have this thing, because then I can just kind of put them back up as needed. Alright, so next thing I'm going to need is another stacker. So let's make one of those. I need iron in here. Okay, I've got lots of iron so we'll take this 500 stack throw it up there we'll take this 100 stack throw it in there and then we will make ourselves a stacker good to go all right so there's that and then we'll set our stacker up over here and i think that's where that has to go and in the correct orientation as well good to go all right and we'll make this uh, 50. There we go. Now, uh, cable. We need more cable. Which means I need the copper that's in here. So if you don't mind, give me all of your stuff. Oops. Sorry, didn't mean that. Uh, OK, so now we can do that. And now we can make a ton more cable. Also, you can turn off for now. All right. Also, uh, the plastics that I've got here can go back up there. All right, and then I'm gonna need this guy. So, that can go there, to there, to there, to there, okay, that is power and data all on the same side, or I suppose these things don't have data, okay, so then that can go there, and then, oh, I should have done the other one, uh, it's fine. All right, and then I'm going to need some powered shoots. I think those require gold, though. Um, how are we feeling about that amount of wire? I mean, 28, that's not bad, right? OK, so I'm going to get that out again, because I think I'm going to need the copper make the powered shoots. Could be wrong. Um, okay, so I need you in here. All right, I need to make two of these, and that's going to require iron, electrum, and constantin. Constantin. I don't know how to say that word. Uh, 
and Stanton. Some, what did that say, Invar? No, Electrum, okay. All right, so let's make a couple of these, but I'm gonna pause real quick because my room is warm, so I'm gonna open up the door. All right, so I keep my house at like 73, but uh, sometimes, um, yeah, it doesn't heat the house quite evenly. And I don't, I think I probably don't have like proper ventilation in the house to, you know, to bring the cool air up from the basement and then distribute it like up to the top floor and let the cool kind of settle back down. I mean, that would probably make things a lot more balanced in the house, but you know, it is what it is. All right, so I'm gonna need two of these. So there's one and two, thank you. All right, now I need this guy to be that thing. There we go. So that's going to go there. Set this to zero to one. All right, and then we need to wire it up to there. And right, I need all these things. There we go. Okay, so now that has power. And then this is gonna be splitter iron, I think. Just gotta see what I named these things. Splitter coal, yeah, okay. So this is going to be splitter iron. Okay, so there's that. And then we'll use this guy. Hang on, let me throw that into there. And we'll grab this thing to make a windowed shoot. I don't need to make a windowed shoot, but I will. Um, window shoots take two of the basic shoots. Um, the regular straight shoot just takes one. So it's actually kind of a waste to, you know, do the window shoots, but I like them. All right, and then I need digital valve left. I think that is correct, right? And threshold value is one. Close that guy. And then you need a little bit of power. Make that go down. And then I need you to go there. Okay, so now that should get you power. And they both run at the same time. Then these should both turn on at the same time. Good. And turn off. Oh, they actually turn off at the same time too. Maybe I don't need that. Huh. Well, I'm going to keep that just because maybe this thing doesn't work as advertised once you start putting stuff through it. Uh, I don't know. So, uh, next thing. Um, we're going to need that to go between the two. And I'm just going to go with just the normal straight through here. Okay. Did you just open? It did just open. Check that out. Watch it. Ha, huh. that's cool. Okay, uh, right, so now we need to run this guy down to here, and then just normal straight shoots going down. If it wants to work with me, please, thank you. All right, sir. Okay, so there's that. All right, now, how are we doing over here with our stuff? Okay, so we've got stuff. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's seven here so far. So there's no cobalt in there yet. So that would normally make eight. So maybe I can get by with just six things. And that's kind of doing its thing too. Okay, I mean, it's, it's fine. Okay, so that is doing its thing. Um, what I need to do now is get some more of these basic shoots, which I have a couple stacks of over here. That's basically from ripping apart the other thing that I had. So it's not really like I had to make new ones. Okay, sir, can we like jump forward without going absolutely insane? It's fine. Okay, and then this guy also needs to be in there. So that'll be good there. Oh, geez. Let me grab some water. Uh, that I don't need quite yet. Um, 
So I need kind of all of the stuff right now, because I need gold right now. I need copper. Well, I suppose I don't really need copper right now, but I will need copper. Uh, man. And I haven't like tested this like on a massive scale yet, so I don't know like 100% that it's going to work, but I think it's going to work. So I'm just kind of like best guessing it right now. I mean, it could turn out that once I get all this stuff built, like it doesn't work at all. In which case, I'm just gonna like start crying, I think, probably. But, um... I low pressure. Oh, crap. Oxygen low. Oxygen critical. Sorry, I'm killing pressure myself critical. Right now. Right, Temperature so... critical. Oh, calm down. Okay. Right, so another thing that I did up here is I put my basic solar uh, panels down again. Um, and I think I've have, I have them, I can't even talk right now. I think I have them connected. Yeah, yeah, they're connected, okay, good. Yeah, so I'm getting just like a little bit of extra generation through here as well. And it is exactly noon because they just switched around to go to the other side. So that is good to go. So, I mean, we're, we're pulling a decent amount of power. I could always like run a few more of these things out here if I wanted to, but meh, it's fine for now. Um, but yeah, then I've got the generator there in case I really, really, really need power, because that thing just puts out like a ridiculous amount. Um, how are we doing over here? Okay, so next thing, I need to run this thing over to this corner. Then I need to turn these stackers on. Okay, and um, I suppose we give it a whirl. Uh, okay, so I need you to go up like that. Oh, actually, you know what? This would probably be a good place for windows. Because then I can kind of see like what's in the queue, I suppose, and if we're keeping up or if we're kind of like, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, so we'll do just like a couple windowed ones, and that should be enough. Um, okay, and then the rest of these I'll just do straights, and then I got to run this up and over and kind of over here somehow. So let me throw this in here. Towards me, please. Thank you. All right. All right, so I need to figure out how high up that is. And I think we're up one more. So let's throw in a well, that is not what I needed. Uh, okay, so we'll do that up there. And I think that will put us where we need to be, which actually puts us directly over the wall, which I kind of like. Um, and we go with our straights going through here. I think I'm probably going to end up needing more shoots. And then we need... I've got one more stack. I have zero more stacks. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna need more basic shoots. Um, okay. So let me make some of those. Uh, shoot. Basic. Go. Alright, so I'll let those kind of continue to make stuff. Alright, so that'll go there, that'll go there. All right. And that can go there and that can go there. So now this is all nice and connected. So now, we can stop this for now, store whatever we got left over. Um, there, I suppose. All right, 
so what what should happen now oh wait a minute these have to precede these so I need to replace that with a powered shoot okay that's fine we can we can do it uh, it's a good thing I caught that now. All right, so that was the max uh, power that we were able to get. We're still a little low, but the rest of these are kind of okay. So I think we're okay on power. Okay. So. This guy has to be one of these, which means that it also needs power. Ugh. Okay, so this has to be a digital valve left. And then I kind of want it to go like that. Power low. Threshold of one, keep it on closed. Okay, good to go. About the battery. There we go. Uh, man, it's a lot. <laughs> Can I fit in yet? I can't even fit in over here. That's not great. Um, can I fit in kind of up here? No. That's kind of also not great. Uh, but I can jump over this way. All right. Uh, so I need to run some power into this guy, which should not be a big deal. And then that needs to go there. And then we need to go back down into this guy with that. There we go. So that should hopefully. And then I am back out. Good to go. Okay. And it is doing its thing. Good. Good. Okay, so this one will precede this one. So it'll stop whatever thing is coming in here, which is great for the window because then I can see if there's anything queued there. Um, so this will precede this, and then it'll go into the next valve, which will precede this one, and go into the next valve, which will then precede the next one. Okay. So let's uh, see how this works. So we're going to get a bunch of stuff kind of like spit out of here that we can't really do anything with. So like the gold, the copper, nickel, lead, and silicon, but... We will see if it works. Okay, there's one. Okay, there's two. It's queued. Good. Stopping. Okay, good. There's the next one. Queued. Good. Okay, there's a silicon going through. Okay, this appears to be <laughs> working properly, which is amazing. goes the next thing and then we should be spitting out some stuff oh or do I need an, I think I, I think I need an output uh, sure I can get one of those otherwise this thing is gonna back up I don't like that idea okay so we'll do that oh crap um you need to go here first and then you need the outlet, but then the outlet needs another one of these chutes. Um, outlet, outlet, outlet. And then you need to be powered. Sir, I am racing against the clock right now. Because this is probably going to back up, and then it's just going to be bad. And if it does back up, okay. So how we, yeah, so it's, oh, I forgot to turn that one on, duh. Okay, so that should push one out, okay. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. So if that did a thing, right? Because it did a thing, does that, actually need to be on there like the output or can I just leave it as the other thing hmm. 
No, it actually does need to be on there. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't. Okay, good, good. So then I take that off because I don't want it there. All right, good to go. And that's just, just going to drop off whatever extra we've got going on. So let me snip this little extra stuff right here. Good to go. Good to go. Oh, hey, that's iron. Why didn't you take out iron? Is this thing not? Oh, because I don't have the iron set up. Duh. I'm smart. It's fine. Um, yeah, it's it's fine. It's fine. Just throw that in there. It's fine. Then we'll pick up that. Throw that in there. I I feel like I'm hitting myself in the head with this thing whenever I carry those. Um, okay, so you and you. Also, you're empty, right? So let me just turn you off. All right. And then you, and then you, and then more iron. That's fun. Okay. So that is doing its thing, I think. And it is still cycling through all of the stuff. All right. And are we good? I think we're good. I think we just cycled through everything. Good. All right. Oh, here's more copper over here. Um, as long as I have copper here, I should probably smelt it, right? And then probably the same for the gold as well. So we'll throw that into there. Get that going. Okay. Now, uh, the question is, uh, we didn't pick up any coal, right? I don't think we did anyways, right? So that means that all the coal should have been properly sorted. Eh. Be a good thing if it did. All right. And you can go in there as well. All right, and then there is our copper, which means that I can turn you off for now. And we'll take you, store you into there. Good to go. <sighs> okay, so now um, we need a loaded processor and some IOs, and I think we have exactly enough. Yeah, three IOs. Do we? Do I have a memory as well? I do not have a memory. Dang. I was hoping. I have a logic switch, but that's not memory. Okay, that's unless I have it over here. I do not. Okay, so I'll just need to do another one then. Okay, so first things first, uh, let's set up this. So this needs to be a compare unit. And remember, we're just doing this as like a uh, mirror image of that, right? So if that is that way, then this needs to be that way. Um, so that's good there. And then we need our slot reader here. Uh, slot reader, and that has to be facing that way. And then we have our logic switch thing. That has to be facing that way. And then we have our logic writer, which has to be facing that way. And then, um, wait, that was a logic writer, right? Not a batch writer? Yeah, okay, good. Um, memory, right. So what do I need for that? Memory. I need gold and copper, okay. I have the copper. And I have the gold. All right. I have three gold, which is just enough. Barely enough. Oh, eh. it only takes one gold, but okay. All right. So here is our memory. Thank you. And then we'll go ahead and set this up here. Uh, at that level, yes, okay. All right, and then we're just basically copying um, the wiring. So that will go into here. So that's the compare units. So that's the only thing that needs to see that. Uh, this needs to be one of these. 
and then that needs to be one of those, and that needs to be one of those, and that does not need to be one of those. Okay, that needs to be one of these, and then another one of these over here. And then that's just a couple of curved pieces, so that's that, and that, okay. And then uh, each of these needs to be connected on the bottom here. So we'll go ahead and splice in, so there's that, and that, and that. All right. Whew. Okay, so that is our mirror image, right? Now we just need to set everything up, so that is going to be fun. Okay, so this slot reader, uh, we want that to read from our splitter for iron. Splitter coal, splitter iron. Okay. There's only one slot to look into, and then we're going to look up the uh, occupant hash. Okay, so right now that is set to zero. Um, this is also going to have to go into... Wait, wait, did I go too far? No. So no coal, no. Slot reader, no. Splitter coal, splitter iron. There we go. And that's going to be our on. Okay, and then that has to be flipped that way, so that way that reads a zero. Um, and actually, let me just make sure... Wait, no, that reads a one. Right. No. What? OK, so these are both reading zero now. Right, right. OK, yeah, because they're mirrored. So yeah, 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 that makes sense. OK, next. Uh, compare unit has to compare our memory, which is the only thing it can pull out of this side, because that's the only thing that's connected there. So that's fine. Um, and then this is going to look at our slot reader. Oh, and I have to name this thing too. Um, yeah. Slot reader iron. Logic writer switch for iron. Logical writer for iron. Compare unit also for iron. And then memory. That's just logic memory, so this should be logic memory coal. This is logic compare coal, okay. Logic writer coal, logic writer switch coal, slot reader coal, okay, good. All right, so there's that. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, so that is logic compare, no, that's not what we need. Uh, we need the reader. Slot reader for iron. Is that what this thing's called? Slot reader coal, slot reader iron. Yeah. Okay. So that will check if that is equal to that. And then you will take in that from our. Uh, nope. Logic compare iron. Okay. So it'll take in our value from here. And then it will write out to. Oh, I need to label these things, don't I? No, they're already labeled. Okay, splitter, coal, find it. Splitter, splitter, splitter for iron. There we go. And then this has to output mode, if I remember that correctly. Yeah, it's doing the mode. Okay, good. So then we'll turn that guy on, we'll turn that on, we'll turn that on, and then we have to set that. So what we do is we look up iron, or there we go. And then this is our hash. So 175842. So 175842. 175842. Confirm. Um, 7767. Okay. So that should be our hash for iron. And now, hopefully, if this thing is working correctly. Oh, I should probably get like an input in here or something, like down here, so I can just like throw stuff in here. Uh, that 
actually wouldn't be hard to do. Uh, let me take this guy out, and then we'll do that. Now, that's going to need power, of course, so that's always going to be interesting. But there is our junction, and that is what we want that to be, so that way everything goes up. And then uh, we're going to want a straight, or do we want that to be our input, inlet? So let me see what we need for this thing. There we go. Oh, that's got it over there. OK. Um, we can pull this out one, maybe, and kind of feed it from the side. Or if we're going to do it like that, we can do it like this. OK, and then we can take this out and then replace this with a corner facing towards me, along with a straight, and then another corner facing down. OK. And then because we already have power coming in over here, we can just, oh wait, no, that's, that's data. Wait, is that data and power? No, that's just data. So do I not? Hang on. I'm going to test this out real quick. Uh, that has to go there. Then we need this guy to take that apart. OK, right, right. So that can go here. All right, inlet. That will go there, and I just need to see if this thing will work uh, without anything powering it. I think it will, but I also want to be sure. OK, so now if we take this, there we go. OK, so that does work. And then that should be going through here. There it goes. So now it's sitting in here, and now it should be sitting over in here. It's going to read it and should shoot it out into the silo or into the stacker at least. And the stacker has two iron in it. Good. And then this stacker has 20 coal in it. Good. So it is working. Okay, good to go. So let me pick up all of this other iron and we'll kind of get that going as well. So yeah, so if we ever need to just throw stuff in here, Kind of kick it in. It'll go in there. It'll get sorted. All right. Good to go. Oh, man. So it works. Uh, yeah. I'm rather happy with this right now, actually. Uh, yeah. So this is very, very simple. We didn't have to use a motherboard or learn a programming language or anything like that. It is a little complicated, but probably not as complicated as learning a whole new programming language to figure out how to use the, the ICs and stuff and the motherboards and the computers and stuff. So overall, I'm fairly happy with this. So now all I need to do is just uh, keep making sure that I get uh, you know stuff coming out. Oh, but then if I put that there, I can't access this. But then again, I want these things to be just kind of like always open, you know? So that one's got 16 iron already. OK. That one's got 33 iron, some gold. OK, so we'll have that one go through. We'll have that one go through. We're just going to overload the entire system here. Just see how it handles it. And now hopefully everything will be fine. OK. It is cycling through stuff, so that's good. And we should be getting a bunch of stuff getting spit out over here. So there's our cobalt that I can't really do anything with. Um, yeah, that seems to be working quite well so far. There's some silicon. I can do that with all of this silicon and then kind of combine them into a single stack. Good. More silicon. 
there's some lead, and then these are just gonna kind of roll over there and get kind of caught in there. So I'm kind of okay with just letting them do their thing. But yeah, so this uh, appears to be working, which makes me happy. Okay, and then lead, lead, lead. There we go. I guess they're all just kind of just doing their thing over here. Uh, how are we doing over here? So now we have 44 iron in here. Good. Okay, so I want to check this. So I'm looking for that arrow up there to go green, which means that there's a coal in there. I don't know how long that's going to take. And then I want to see from it detecting and updating. I'm seeing if I can reduce the uh, the timing on this a little bit, make it go a little bit faster. is uh, very interesting right now. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, we've got more than enough time. Yeah, yeah, we've got, we've got more than enough time, okay. So I could potentially uh, reduce these. Um, yeah, so uh, let me do that. So first I need to clear up this, sorry. There we go. So yeah, we've got quite a queue of stuff going on up there. So that's fine as well. But yeah, I mean, it's it's working, it's doing its thing. So then we can check in here to see if it has anything. Uh, do I need to turn these on in order for them to actually accept stuff? Okay, yeah, so now that has one stack, good. That also has one stack. So that is one full stack of 50 coal and one full stack of 50 iron in there. Good to go. How are we doing on power? Ooh, we, uh, yeah, we should probably give that a cheeky little charge. Yeah, we'll throw in some of that. So you can see why I wanted to kind of isolate um, the ore processing on kind of its own. So that way, you know, cause like air conditioning and stuff is dependent on these batteries. So I don't want these to be drained because I'm doing all of this stuff over here. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's uh, it's definitely interesting, but it's working. So I mean, that's that's kind of like the whole the whole thing, right? Power low. Power low. I need something to drink. I mean, come on, man. But uh, another long episode, but it shows that the stuff is working. So I'm actually kind of kind of okay with that. But I suppose um, I'm gonna work on cleaning all of that stuff up. Uh, we'll collect what we can, I guess. Um, and then, yeah, it'll just, uh, the next episode, uh, hopefully I'll have some more of the silos built and uh, we won't have to worry so much about, you know, materials anymore because now it's auto sorting as well. And then once I've got the stacks in there, uh, I can figure out some sort of automated like ingot making process thing. I don't know, there's, there's still a lot, still a lot to do. But I mean, we're, we are getting the hang of stuff. All right, so that is good there, all right. I think I'm okay here. Oh, I could probably replace my oxygen as well. Here we go, thank you, all right. Go outside and take a look at all of the ores being piled up here. But yeah, I mean, overall, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, it seems to be working very well. And apart from, I mean, if you think about it though, this this isn't really all that complicated. I mean, figuring out the timing was a little eh, but I mean, this right here, I mean, that's that's fairly simple. For like one complete sorting of ore, you just need five IC units and potentially only four because you don't, you may or may not need that. I mean, I say I say that's pretty good. So I'm fairly happy with all of this. So hopefully you guys are too. 
But that's all I got for this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you did, hopefully you'll join me for the next one. But until then, I actually made it through the whole outro without messing it up this time. That's amazing. Anyways, uh, have a good one.